everyone, I'm Scott and I have diabetes. So I'm really excited because today I am going to update my T-Slim X2 insulin pump. Tandem just started releasing the Basil IQ update for the T-Slim X2. So we're going to go through the training for that, then download the software to update this, and I'll show you guys the entire process from start to finish. And we'll also do a cartridge change because you have to do a new cartridge when you do the update. So I waited specifically till today because I knew I was gonna be out of insulin today and I'm out. So we're gonna do the update now. So let's get started. So uh, what I'm gonna do is film this and on my computer screen so you can actually see what I'm doing on the computer while I'm doing it. So when you log into the T-Connect portal, it shows here on the screen your name and then it'll show underneath pump software update, the Basil IQ pump software update. To access this pump software update, a prescription for the Basil IQ feature from your healthcare provider and completion of online Basil IQ training modules are required. These steps can be completed using the T-Connect portal. If you encounter any problems throughout the process, please give us a call and then their phone number. So I've already gotten the prescription done from my doctor. The um, prescription got back to Tandem. It's approved. They've loaded the training into my profile. So now we're gonna get started. So it says right here, new feature training. Complete this new feature training course before updating your pump. This course will teach you how to use the new features that will be added to your pump. So let's get started. Basal IQ training for T-Slim X2 patients. For patients who have been using the T-Slim X2 pump and will be updating their pump to add Basal IQ technology. Total course time, approximately 45 minutes. Okay, we don't have that much battery life. So we'll just get creative. Only film parts of it, I guess. Okay, um, let's get started. Start course. Um, hmm. Let's try this again. Why do I have a feeling it's not going to work in Safari? Am I going to have to download Google Chrome? I bet I'm going to have to download Google Chrome. Oh, I love technology. And by love it, I mean hate it. So I don't think it works in Safari. I've downloaded Google Chrome. Okay. So let's, um, let's try this again. Prepare to use the features of your T-Slim X2 insulin pump. If you have any questions about the content in this training, contact Tandem Customer Support at 877-801-6901 or speak to your healthcare provider. So obviously Welcome Safari. Welcome to this training program. Ooh. In this module, we will review the information. So obviously Safari doesn't work, but Google Chrome works. So if you're going to do this update, Maybe download Google Chrome first in case you don't have it. Please select. Let's go through a few questions on the material. That's what is the max? That's right. True or false? Both basal IQ alerts must be. That's what is the predicted threshold used by the basal IQ technology to stop insulin delivery? That's right. You have successfully passed this course. Well, we're halfway complete. So now we have to do CGM sensor sessions with Basil IQ. This self-paced interactive program is designed to help you prepare to use the features of your T-Slim X2 insulin pump. So the training is complete. It now says, no new updates available. You will receive an email with an update ID code as soon as the software to update your pump is ready. So I guess as soon as I get the email, we'll do the pump install. Hopefully that's soon, because this was tedious. Yeah. Hopefully I get that email anyway. So I got the email with my update ID number and I'm going to download the software to install it on my pump now. So I have the software installed that I downloaded from the App Store, Tim Device Updater. Let's get started. So 
So plug in your pump. It says continue. Have backup insulin delivery option available. I've got insulin in the fridge. Check your blood glucose prior to update. 227 and rising because we've been unplugged for so long. Stop all pump insulin delivery, done. Detach pump from your body, done. And remove cartridge, done. Keep computer plugged into wall outlet, we don't need to do that, it's fine. And continue. Enter your pump I update ID, which I have. We're gonna enter it in. You have activated a pump reboot from your computer, and I already hit it, so I couldn't read it to you. And it says updating, and it says booting, so it did say booting. Oh! Update successful. The software update is complete. You may now use your pump. To resume therapy, go to the load menu and install a cartridge. Welcome to the Tandem Experience. Okay. Well, let's uh, get everything plugged back in and um, hopefully we can get Dexcom paired up and get going. So, like we did previously, we're going to install a new cartridge with this, so we first get the cartridge out, our syringe and needle, new vial of Novolog. Get as many bubbles out as we can. We don't want to waste any though. Start our garbage pile. Unwrap the Fusion set. Hook it to the cartridge. Detecting cartridge. Now I'm hoping, because this Dexcom I've had on for about a week now, so I've still got three or four days with it. Um, so I'm hoping that I can put in the sensor code and have it connect, but I'm honestly not sure, so we'll see how that goes. Fill tubing. And there we go. Let me actually use the site prep, since you know I forget so often. One, two. Fill cannula, starting fill. Sorry that I sound horrible, by the way. Um, it's allergy season here in Georgia, and um, yeah, this is what I'm gonna sound like for the next month. All right, and we are back up and running. Now let's see if we can get the Dexcom put on here. So it doesn't look like I can start up the sensor on my pump because it's going to end tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one off and put a new one on and we'll just start the process over. One sec. Okay, so I got a new Dexcom sensor, new Dexcom G6 sensor, um, but I also wanted to put a sim patch on. I don't know if you guys have seen them or not. I use these the most because obviously I want it to be as close to my skin color as possible. But I also have blue, blah, blue ones, but I actually have not opened this one yet. These are black, so I'll probably use a black one today. Sensor code 5937. go. 
You are ready to start your CGM session. New sensor readings will display on your home screen. Start sensor. Yes. Sensor started. So we are back to the sensor warm-up screen. So in two hours, we will come back and be ready. So it has been two hours since I started the new Dexcom sensor and got it paired with my pump. So you can see now getting my readings on my pump. So I have basal IQ. Obviously I'll have to experience low blood sugar to see the benefits of it working. But I'm actually really excited about this. I struggle with hypoglycemia. Most of the time it's when I am asleep. So I'll wake up in the morning um, after a hypoglycemic episode and I don't, you know, obviously I'm so low. I'm you know, dizzy and incoherent and I, you know, I don't know what's going on. Um, so I'm really excited for this new feature because it's just one more level of protection for me. If I have low blood sugar, this will now cut off based on my Dexcom reading. So that's great. I'm really excited to see how this works. This video was kind of all over the place because um, again, I didn't plan it. I don't ever plan things out. I'm sure there's a real process to this, making videos. I just don't know how to do that. But I'm gonna continue doing it this way. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, at scotthasdiabetes, so that you can see when I post about the basal IQ technology. There will be times, I'm sure, that I'm gonna say, oh my god, look, it worked. Like, I woke up and there's gonna be red lines all across the screen. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. So if you didn't like it, just close it out. Close it out and leave. Don't ever come back. Please don't, because if you don't like me now, you're not gonna suddenly like me one day. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.